Okay, let's look at file shredders. Now, I've, rip I've blogged about the, a couple of these before. Now, the one I prefer is a very simple, straightforward one, which is file shredder, available from fileshredder.org. Now, when you download and open the program, you can add files, you can scan your drive, you can add folders, you can remove selected removal. I'll come back to the shred free disk space. Shredder settings. Enable shell integration, the right click option. Confirmation when files are shredded. Confirmation when adding or removing files from a list. And always ask for secure algorithm. Now your algorithm, you have a choice. A simple one pass, two pass, DOD, seven pass, well, the strongest is the Gutmann algorithm of 35 passes. This is the preferred one. This is... If you decide that you're going to sell your computer or change a hard drive, um, sell on your old hard drive, whatever, you don't want personal information on there. And this will remove it permanently. Visual options, you can run it maximized, but a nice compact window is ideal. Now, what I will do, I have some files here. These are photos that I took of my daughter. Now, I've already saved these to an external drive. So, what we would do is shred them. There's the confirmation. And as you can see, it goes through each pass up to 35. I will pause for a few seconds whilst it continues, and when it gets to the end, I'll come back again. As you can see, it has shredded all of the files. These are now shredded beyond any form of forensic recovery. You will not be able to recover them. So make sure if you want to keep them, you have a copy somewhere else. Now many of you will use the recycle bin and you cannot shred items that have already been deleted from the recycle bin. What you can do is shred the free disk space. Select your drive. In this case I'm using a card select your pass and then click next this takes a little while so again I will pause the movie whilst it runs through and just let it run and it shreds all the free space now if you use this on your hard drive it will also overwrite all the deletions from the recycle bin everything you've emptied will be overwritten I click start go grab a coffee or whatever now if I go back to the original folder which is a memory stick you can see that all the files that were there have been deleted they have been shredded beyond recovery now it will shred the free space so anything that was there previously cannot be recovered either now this is all to do with your privacy and your security. You're not passing on information that others can use. Now as you can see on a one gig memory stick this has taken almost an hour to completely shred the free space. But if you value your privacy, you have personal information that you don't want to pass on, then this tool sorts it. It's simple, it's straightforward to use. If you're going to do it on a hard drive or external drive, USB sticks or whatever, you can just set it to run and leave it. Let it run overnight if need be. It takes time. That's it. Right, I've stopped it there because it will just go through and flush the disk buffers, which takes a couple of minutes. But you get the idea of what it does. If I go back 
to the original folder, there's nothing in here. It's completely void. There's nothing there at all. So I hope this has helped you a little bit and it helps you to understand the function of a file shredder and how important it can be to securing your own privacy should you decide to replace your computer, sell on your computer, change your hard drive or whatever.